Hey everybody, this is Apostle Jane Hammond with the next episode of Prophetic Pulse coming straight from the Christian International Studios here in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. I hope you're having a great day. We love to take time to just kind of tune in to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying because one word from God can absolutely change everything. It can change anything and it can change everything in your life. Let me ask you a question. Are you in a place where you need to see God break through in a big way? Are you looking for that place in your life where God shows up and does what we call a suddenly? I want you to understand, first of all, that suddenlies don't always happen suddenly. They usually come after a time when we've prayed and we've fasted and we've come into agreement with God. And then suddenly breakthrough happens. Suddenly God shows up and begins to catapult us forward into a whole new place of prophetic fulfillment and victory in our lives. And so don't be weary in well-doing as you're pressing into this place of believing God to see the victory in your life. Um, a number of years ago, I was uh, praying and just asking the Lord about the season we were in. And he said, you know, you need to tell everybody that you're in what's called a quantum leap season. Actually, when the Lord spoke this to me, it was uh, a leap year. And, um, and, and so I thought, oh, well, that's interesting. And, you know, there was a, a television program on that was on years and years ago about somebody that would leap in time. But I knew that that really wasn't what the Lord was talking about. But I didn't fully understand this concept of a quantum leap. I knew it was a, a, like a big, giant step forward. So I did what, yes, modern prophets do sometimes. And I searched it up. I Googled it. So let me read you what the definition of quantum leap is. God said we're in a quantum leap season. It means a sudden and significant change or increase, something sudden, spectacular, and vitally important, a sudden high significant advance or a breakthrough. I know you're believing for breakthrough, and I just want to decree to you that God is bringing us into quantum leap seasons. God's bringing us into quantum leap experiences in, in, in the earth and in your personal life that is causing us to come into a manifestation of breakthrough. Now, I got up and I shared with our congregation exactly what I just shared with you. But what was so interesting to me is a couple of things that happened right after that. First of all, one of the elders in our church, Apostle Gail Sheehan, who is also the head of the Christian International Apostolic Network of Churches, came up to me afterwards and he began to tell me that he had studied quantum physics in college. And uh, he began to talk to me about the concept of quantum physics and how the quantum leap scenario actually plays out in physics. I wanna read this to you just to make sure I don't get it wrong, okay? Um, in, in physics, a quantum leap refers to the abrupt movement of an electron from one radiant energy level to another with no smooth transition, no in-between. An electron will build up energy and become, this is a, this is a, 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 a scientific term, the, the electron becomes excited, okay? It begins to, 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 to vibrate. Then suddenly it jumps or leaps from one level to another level of orbit to orbit another atom. As it does, it emits a burst of light from an escaping proton. It goes from point A to point B with no in-between. This is quantum leap according to quantum physics. Once it makes this jump, it finds a place of stability, then begins to build energy once again to work up to the next level and leap to the next level and leap to the next level. It will only circle, circle the nucleus continuously until stress and pressure <laughs> stress and pressure cause it to begin charging up process. So listen, what we have to understand is that God wants to take you from right where you are now, bam, into a place of fulfillment with no in-between, suddenly. That's what a suddenly looks like. That's what a quantum leap looks like. And it may be that change doesn't happen until you experience stress or pressure. Yay, aren't you excited about that word? <laughs> Stress and pressure that are going to actually cause you to leap to another point or to another place uh, of victory. 
Um, so what we have to understand is that this is God's process, okay? God's taking us through these quantum leap processes. Now, right as soon as the, the Lord spoke that to me, I was in a meeting with a, uh, a man that had come to our church for many years, and he was running for mayor of Destin. And when uh, the Lord spoke this to me, I shared it with him. I said, listen, the Lord says that, that, that we're, he's bringing us into a quantum leap season where he's going to take you from point A to point B with nothing in between. And he said, that's interesting. I wonder how that relates to um, my mayoral race. Well, within a few minutes, he gets a phone call from the election supervisor in that area in, over in Destin who tells him, listen, you've got all your paperwork done to become the mayor of Destin. And today was the cutoff. Noon today was the cutoff for any other challenges, challengers to that position. And he said, listen, what just happened is nobody challenged you. So without even running for election, without even people having to vote, bam, <laughs> he became mayor of Destin that day at noon. A quantum leap where he went from this point to this point with no in-between. Listen, that's what miracles look like. That's what breakthrough looks like. That's what the glory of God coming upon our life looks like. The, the scripture actually tells us that he wants to take us from glory to glory. Bam, in between. From strength to strength. Bam, in between. From faith to faith. Listen, God wants us to leap forward in all of that. Now, we have a, a dear friend in ministry that many of you may know. His name is Joseph Garlington. He's ministered here at Christian International in the past. And I heard a minister this one time, and he talked about how God takes us from glory to glory. He said, but really, the reality kind of looks a little bit more like glory to glory. <laughs> it kind of takes a long time to get to glory. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a quantum leap where you're in one position one day and then within a, within a short period of time, you're living on a whole different plane, on a whole different, different level. The other, the second thing that was really interesting beyond, besides uh, Apostle Gail sharing with me the scientific understanding of this quantum leap is that a few days later, I had to get on a plane at six o'clock in the morning. Now I'm gonna be very honest with you. I do minister people on airplanes, but usually at six o'clock in the morning, I really just wanna to go to sleep, okay? And I happened to sit down that morning at five o'clock in the morning when we boarded the plane, I sat down next to a very chatty gentleman. And as I was chatting with him, you know, he asked me what I did. And so out of being polite, I asked him what he did. And he said, well, you know what? He says, I actually teach quantum physics at a university. <laughs> All of a sudden I was like, okay, I'm apparently supposed to pay attention to what this man has to tell me. And he began to explain to me that this, this phrase quantum, just to start with, it means how much. It's a quantifier, how much or so much more than. And he says that science has been studying this quantum level, which is the, the most minuscule, um, microscopic level of life um, and of structures of atoms and protons and electrons. They've been studying this. And one of the things that he said is that um, there is, um, he called it the quantum default code. And he says the more that scientists are actually studying matter at its smallest increments, he said the more they're beginning to realize that it's almost like on the smallest pieces of matter, there is a signature of the designer that basically says, I made this. So this is a, a secular university quantum physics teacher that's telling me that suddenly scientists are suddenly in a place where they can no longer deny that God is a creator. He says that there's a signature on every single piece of matter by the creator. Isn't that fascinating? He also said this, he, he cited a study, and I wrote the man's name down by a, a Dr. Amit Goswani, PhD, who's a theoretical physicist. And this is what he says regarding the quantum realm. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about the spiritual implications of the quantum realm. Because what he says is that, that there are actually two realms. There is the realm of, that he calls the present realm, which is the life that you and I see. This is what we're seeing all around us, the matter that we see around us, the things that are happening in our day-to-day -day life every, all around us. It's the present. And then he says the second is the quantum realm, which this is what he calls it, the realm of possibility and, and unlimited potential. The realm of infinite possibility and unlimited potential. And he says in that realm, 
anything is possible. So they're studying the quantum realm, these realms of two existence, and they're studying this in a very, a very concerted effort to look at it. But listen, what they're actually seeing into, I believe, is this unseen realm that God talks to us about being called the kingdom of God. Jesus said it this way. He said, the kingdom of heaven is, is near you. The kingdom of heaven is in you. The kingdom of heaven is all around you. So what I think what they're seeing into is this unseen realm of infinite possibilities and unlimited potential. Isn't that what the kingdom of heaven is like? Infinite possibilities and unlimited potential, the realm in which anything is possible. And so I started looking at this from a scriptural perspective, and I saw that, the, that understanding the kingdom of God is a quantum leap experience. Listen to this, Isaiah 64, verse 1. They, the people were crying out to God in, in the, the days of the Old Testament, and this was their cry. Oh, God, that you would rend the heavens and come down. Oh, that you would split the heavens open and that you would come down. I want you to understand that's exactly what Jesus did. Jesus split the heavens open and he came down. And most of what he did when he was here on the earth, yes, he cast out devils, he healed the sick, he preached about the kingdom of heaven, but everything that he did was proclaiming and demonstrating the kingdom of heaven. It actually goes on to say in Matthew chapter 4, verse 23, that Jesus went about the cities and villages preaching the gospel of the kingdom, not just a gospel of salvation, but the gospel of the kingdom and healing all who were sick and diseased. It's just fascinating to me, this, this kingdom of God that Jesus was introducing into the earth. As a matter of fact, he taught us to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so when we start looking at scripture kind of through this light, we begin to understand that quantum leaps speak of sudden changes. You think about it. God said in the very beginning, let there be light and bam, there was light. In the Passover season, when the 10 plagues and all that went on in Egypt, but one day these people were slaves for over 400 years, 435 years of Egyptian bondage and captivity. And then suddenly, bam, the next day they're free. That, my friend, is a quantum leap. Come on, maybe you've been struggling with addiction. Maybe you've been struggling with sickness or disease. In one minute, God can speak into that situation and bam, set you free. I had um, very severe hypoglycemia. I've been healed many times in my life, but I had very severe hypoglycemia. I had to wear a medical ID tag um, that, that indicated uh, what my medical condition was because I passed out at school. I passed out in, in the mall. I passed out at different random places in the grocery store. I, I, it was controlling my life. And I was in Bible college at that time. I had everybody and their brother pray for me. And I, uh, I, and I was believing God for my suddenly, for my miracle. And one day I went to church with a friend. I'd never been there before. And the pastor, after worship, got up. And before he preached, he just pointed his finger at me. And he said, young lady, the Lord told me to tell you that today is the day of your healing. And from this day forward, you will be healed. And I want you to know, I didn't feel anything particular. But suddenly, suddenly, bam, I was healed. I have never had a hypoglycemic episode since. And it was controlling my life. It was a very serious condition in my life. But I have been completely set free in a moment. In a moment, God can turn everything around for you. He took the, Israel, the Israelites out of 400 years of bondage and bam, set them free in an instant. That's how we all get saved, right? We, we live our lives as sinners, by, bound by by, by sin, bound by darkness, and then we pray, we repent, we turn our hearts around, and all of a sudden, bam, we're translated out of one kingdom into another kingdom. We're transferred out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son, and we become citizens of heaven. In a moment, a quantum leap. Come on, you can be sick one minute and healed the next. You can be demonically oppressed one minute and healed the next. You can be completely in turmoil in your heart or your mind one moment and the, and the spirit of God comes upon you and sets you free. 
And right now I'm just speaking to you and I'm decreeing right now that you have the power to enter into this freedom. You have the power right now to enter into that place of supernatural suddenlies, that place of supernatural breakthroughs, that place of experiencing the quantum leap power of God from the kingdom of heaven being manifest upon you. I want you to put your hand on your belly and just say the kingdom of God is inside of me and the kingdom of God is a quantum leap experience. I release to you healing. I release to you peace. I release to you freedom from every de destructive uh, demonic cycle and every addictive pattern right now in your life. I decree freedom, healing, hope, life, and peace right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God is releasing you into your suddenly. God is releasing you into your place of being transferred out of one place into a whole different experience in God, out of bondage into freedom, out of death into life, out of cursing into blessing. God is declaring over your life infinite possibilities and unlimited potentials. I hope that you just reach up and grab hold of this today because God is the God that knows how to bring a major shift in an instant. Remember, one word from God can change everything. And I decree to you today that your life is shifting and you are going from point A to point Z today with nothing in between, having a miraculous release of the power and the spirit of God manifesting over your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, this has been Prophetic Pulse, and I hope it's been a blessing to you. I hope you grab hold of everything that God is saying and enter in to your quantum leap season.